Queensland, New Zealand to Milford Sound. Both Orbex add-on airports. Queensland International, we haven't seen much of it, we might see a glimpse of it as we um, are going from one way to 23, so. Check if they come in. Taxi this way. But, If we were in a much faster, more powerful plane, we'd be zooming up over the mountains here. We're going to take the more scenic route of going through uh, this valley to start off with. Because we have high mountains ahead of us. We'll start climbing anyway. I don't know. Climb. The speed is about 95, so we can plane wise up so we're doing. Start climbing.
straight away we have uh, like eight, nine thousand footers to get over. Definitely be adjusting our mixture. Key at this point is get altitude, otherwise we really have to do a fly a very long, slow way there. Once we get above these clouds, you'll see some fantastic mountains ahead of us. Well, they're already around us, but see some white peaks. If you take the direct route to the airport, you have a 14,000 footer to fly over, or around. And then you have to go to the beach and come back, but we're going to fly in the back way. Over a very small airport, we won't really have time to, to look at. Through a valley, as I, the wind is with us. That looks like the 14,000 foot up there <laughs> on the straight route. Now I'm going to set the autopilot track on so it will track the VOR. And for a few minutes, we're also going to lock the altitude hold on 11,000. So we can check a few views and um, relax for a few minutes before a very interesting approach. I need to adjust the trim for the autopilot in a minute probably down now we have a very interesting landing coming up because we have to find a way through um, a valley that starts up very high up but well, there's actually an airport which we'll land at in a future episode once you find the valley you're fine you descend down it and it leads you to well not a direct approach but a, a circling approach for the airport okay I need to take over and fly the airplane so let's turn the other part off Basically, we're looking for valleys. In about five minutes, we'll see a valley heading up to the summit. We need to um, traverse. That looks like the 14,000 foot. I don't know, maybe. Of course, we're descending from 11,000 to sea level in about five minutes. So that's also going to be interesting. Absolutely beautiful. To be an observer, because you're the pilot, you'd be concentrating on getting this thing down. I'm going to put some carby on here as a precaution. And also the pit of, some pit of heat. We're not on any clouds and it's hot, but I want to make sure that everything's okay. Do 
judging our descent, that tricky mountainside valley descent, we'll be checking the wind again. Crucial for this runway. And it's probably just over. That looks like the valley I want to approach here, up that way, okay. We have to kind of dip over a mountain top. Well, look about a thousand feet above these so we can descend a little bit. Be high, oops, that looks like our valley. Yep, there's our valley I think. Here we go. It makes for an interesting descent. I think last time I had the gear down the whole way. This is the little ridge here, we have to fly over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I've seen that ridge before. We even have done this quite a few times. It's Oh no, here we are, here's the valley. There's an airport down there. Uh, can we see it? There it is. There's an airport there, believe it or not. And yes, you can land there. Here is our valley now. We should find the valley, we're good. In fact, there is Milford Sound. We're way too high. But uh, we're good because we can circle land. Check the wind now. 155. So that's runway 11, really, which is coming in from um, the ocean. That'll suit us. So we're going to fly around here and come in this way. Otherwise we have to fly around here and do a circle in the mountains. Because we're high, this actually does us a favour. We've got plenty of time to descend. And I'll just, just turn that off. Well, yes, Milford Sound ahead of us. Then you need to go up here and circle in this very small area, which is not so fun when the wind's blowing. We, with the wind now, have got the advantage of approaching from the bay over here. There's also an approach from here, this is the direct approach down here. If you really feel suicidal enough to come up that mountain, you can directly approach the airport that way. We will not be doing that. Uh, oh, what is it, an estuary? So we'll turn around here. I f the first time I flew this I actually landed in a, a 737-600 coming in this direction. Unbelievably. Let's put the, uh, put the mixture back to full rich. Yeah I actually landed in a 737 here. I did. It was uh, 
not something I, I well I didn't know how small the airport was I knew the runway was the, the right length of land unloaded but didn't know the approach would be so uh, scary because when you're flying in through here you have to screw it away around here okay we need to concentrate on landing this now leading off speed won't be a problem Put the gear down. That's a precaution because experience here, but you'll see where we have to land over there. You really get not much of it, it's really in first time when you go. That's the way it goes with this. an actual and final just because <laughs> that was the obligatory uh ATC otherwise yeah, get rid of that thing. You, you can't really do much of an uh, approach with this man in a way. We'll look at the wind today. Touch wood so far. Landing here with a crosswind is uh, no fun. We have to turn in almost last minute. Flaps up. Stay on the runway. And there's a little taxiway here. Can't see it unless you know it's there. And I have my favorite parking spot lined up this open window so we don't get steamed up. View of that while we're here. Park with the information boards so everybody wants to read them they can.